Hello everybody and welcome to the final episode in this series. We've got a lot to get through today. We've got a really busy day ahead. Still got plenty of combining to do. We finished the field you last saw me on and we've moved down the road to the bank. I managed to start the headland last night before it rained. So the machine's parked out there with the tractors and trailers ready to go. Just waiting for it to dry up a little bit. But this morning we have a lorry turned up and we have a whole load of wheat. So first job this morning, we're going to load the lorry up and then get him down the road. We need to start making some money and the prices are good at the minute. Trailer's weight warning has just gone off, so there's about 25, 30 ton in there, and then the alarm goes off, so it all to break the law. Uh, even the best of us make a mess. Look at that, unbelievable. So I'll scoop that up once lorry's gone. Um, still got a fair amount in the shed, so that's good. And a full trailer going out. It's gonna make some money. Just pulling into the stores now where we're going to sell our wheat. We're heading to the unloading bay. See how much money we make. That's back to the yard then. Still a bit early for combining. Sun's coming up, it's still a bit wet, it's a little bit cold. I think we'll go in, tidy up that mess I made, which is lovely, and then uh, go and have a cup of tea, and then uh, I think I'll go and have a check around 11, 12 o'clock, see what the moisture is, and then we'll see if we can go combine. Right, so I'm just going to clean that delightful mess I made, and then as I said, go in for a quick, quick cup of tea, quick break. And then we'll go and check the wheat. See if it's good to go on the bank. Jobs are good. Let's hope he's put the kettle on, eh? Just putting up to the field now. It's 12 o'clock, I thought I'd give it another hour or two. This is quite get away here. Give another hour or two. Have a big sandwich as well. But why not? Why not? Well there's no dew. No condensation on the machines. I think we shall give that a go. Still got a lot to do. A lot to get on with. Yeah why not? Let's give that a go. So last episode then we covered the internals of the machine and how the freshing sort of works and how you set it up. But we didn't talk about the header. I thought I won't cram too much information into one episode so let's split it over two. We can spend a bit of time on the header now. I can explain a few things and how this works and how you set it up. So to begin with then you've got the reel. There's an auger in the back there. And you've got your knife and your cutting knives along, along there. So, job of the reel is basically to just sort of stroke the crop in as it hits the knives. So you'll chop the crop 
the, the rear would just sort of hold it in place a touch, it will fall in and then the auger will move it into the middle and then it will get straight up into the combine. These red bits here, they're called lifters and in England anyway we have quite bad weather conditions so the crop sometimes will lay on the floor or fall over and they just sort of help feed the crop in. And on the side here we've got your dividers and they essentially if you're starting out a new run so say we're coming through here that will just push and split the crop divide it so it doesn't get tangled up and mess along the side here so that is the the basics of a header really uh, we'll jump in and run that up so this is a quite easy way to show you so at the moment the header is set up wrong the reel is buried into the crop and it's not doing the job it should be so you have two main settings for your reel so this is your height up and down and then you have an in and an out and it all depends on the crop you're combining so for wheat it doesn't need to be all the way out just a little bit in and the reel just wants to be just touching the head of the crop so just ever so slightly fingers touch the top and as you cut it it falls in and it's a nice even military operation you could bulldoze your crop and completely mess up your whole combining just from having the header up wrong. so it is a very important part of the combine you can mess it up but it is quite forgiving books and operators manual will say how to set it up and you go from there really uh, the other thing I've got to mention is you can change the speed of your reel you, you want to be sort of matching your forward speed so as the crops coming in it's all working together and it's all a nice smooth operation I think that covers the header very simple ish everything's in an operators manual you just get a good read so I think we'll uh, crack on the component now. Oh, I forgot to mention sort of height control on the header. So underneath your header there's usually sensors or bands or plates and they essentially hang loose and follow the contours of the ground and if the plate hits a bump that will move, trigger a sensor and then your header will move up and there's all sorts of settings of heights and stuff like that if you want more straw you can cut lower to the ground if you want less straw you can cut higher to the ground depends the crop you're cutting and the height and etc that you want to cut you could have you could have really flinty ground and you don't want to be anywhere near the ground it all depends on the conditions crop personal preference and all that I'll tell you what it would be handy if i had someone to drive the blimmin corn cart no efficiency in this not this day and age. Gotta get on. And coming up to the final few moments of this series. It's been really fun making the videos and making these 90s style themed ones. I obviously grew up on the farm in the 90s so it's been nostalgic and it's been a good series to, to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope you enjoyed the areas I've covered. Please don't be afraid to comment anything I've said wrong or anything that I haven't covered. 
by no means I'm an expert but I like to think I've got good good sound knowledge and I hope you've learnt something as I've enjoyed teaching my knowledge and covering things that I enjoy talking about really so I've been involved with farming a long time now and it's been good fun to make these videos I'm definitely not going to stop there I've got a few more series in the pipeline and a few ideas currently got a multiplayer map with a good friend of mine we're, we're starting out so that's going to be fun so until next time guys bye for now